Something appears to be atop that island. Perhaps the treasure the spirit spoke of. We could use that lift, but not while it's up there. down, but it has to stay that way. There we go. Very close. about to explode! Quite the cash. I see why it meant so much to our lost treasure seekers. Perhaps we should go tell the father what became of his son.
Freya, you mentioned that Fimblewinter had worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Sigrun who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I heard it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I... I'm no longer sure that I do. That's correct. Well, Sigrun must have helped find your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place I guessed? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go, but help me just the same. You're back. We have news of your son. Oh, please, please, tell me. He died trying to find the other treasure. He didn't know you were doing the same. No, no, no. This is my fault. He disobeyed your wishes. Yes, because that is what sons do. I should have brought him with me. We'd be alive and rich beyond all reason. Together. Don't blame yourself. He is at peace. Nevertheless, thank you for finding him. I'll seek him out in Helheim. I'm glad we did this, Kratos. Yes. And I'm sure Atreus will be as well. Yes. Where is Sigrun now? Impossible to say. She's on a mission spanning the realms in search of our lost sisters. Our hope is if she can bring their incorporeal spirits to Vanaheim, we can find a way to restore them to uncorrupted forms. Headed back to the city?
I came by and took out an Einher Yard patrol. Area should be clear. Can't speak for the rest of town. Guess an occupying army is as good as a lockdown for tamping down foot traffic. you're back to clean up the mess that extra head of yours made. We have done it. Doesn't fix what I did, but hopefully it makes things a bit better. Let's be off, brother. Your hammer. Thanks! Might not mean much with Odin's goons stomping around the city, but folks see this and they'll know we haven't completely given up. Not yet. Never expected to see this thing again. Kratos! Sorry about earlier. Talking about your wife like that. Do not be. No! Let me apologize. Feeling the old father's spear in your back makes a man want to set things right. Your silence on the matter is enough. Ah, if you say so. You spoke of resistance. Instead, you drink. Oh, I've got plans that you know nothing about. Coming together as we speak. Meantime, I don't plan on my soul parts floating to Alfheim stone cold sober. When the Aesir run me through, I'd rather be too hammered to feel it. You are staring. You're a tough man not to stare at. If the dwarves had your strength, Odin would have never gotten as far with this place as he did. My strength has little to do with my body. Yeah, sure. Derlin. Are you to thank for the newfound fresh air sliding up our nostrils? We turned off the mining rigs. So you did. Let's pretend you did so in a manner consistent with the 97 part safety regulations handbook written specifically for the operation, maintenance and deactivation of said mining equipment. Do what you will. Hm. Well, thanks anyway. Means a lot.
Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. Master Kratos, we can relax knowing that reality is currently unnibbled. But for now, you must not rest. So, who else are we likely to encounter amongst your detachable emotional apparitions? Well, there's certainly no avoiding anxiety. Oh no. Why are you talking about me? What did I do? Oh, you should have heard the shit they were talking. Sadly. What? Oh dear, oh dear. There was no such talk. Shame on you, bitter. Are you sure? Yes, Anxious. No opprobrium to be found in this discourse. I was merely making your acquaintance with our adventuring friends here. Ah! People! Well, there it is. Please come back any time. I wait with you already! There he is! Hey! Come show off the spear! See what we done. Did you ask Sindri about Asgard? Now do the thing! Oh, look at that! She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am... tired. Sure, nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing, whatever. Smooth as snail shit, like I said. For some reason you expected it to go sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to hear everything proceeded as planned. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to boot. Now, the nature of the thing and the form of the thing become a whole multi. You're making up words again. I said it was a motif, and it was beautiful. You are impossible. <laughs> I'm the most possible one around here. About time I had something to do.
What you need now? Let's make something then. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan? Thank <laughs> you. 